and first saw the Volkswagen ID concept at the 2016 Paris Motor Show. Details were sparse, but the concept was our first look at a vehicle designed for Volkswagen's new MEB architecture. Since MEB is a dedicated EV layout, certain stylistic freedoms were afforded. Obviously wheels pushed far out to the edges looks cool, but it also makes room for the battery pack under the floor and gives extra legroom for the people inside. The ID has liberal use of LED lighting, black and white contrasting elements, the standard concept car fare like cameras in place of wing mirrors and sensors for autonomous driving. Blue accents on the side skirts and even the tires. It's got a C pillar very reminiscent of the Golfs, but it's given this interesting metallic treatment. The ID was joined by the ID Buzz last year in Detroit. Just like every other time Volkswagen has teased us with a new microbus, interest was high. But the MEV platform actually made this one's retro styling a bit more sensible. Why not have a cab forward design when you've got no engine to place? The character line down the side hides the path for the sliding doors. Of course, more LEDs because it's fashionable to make concept headlights look like Tamagotchis now. The sensors, the cameras, but what has most of us car nerds super excited is that Volkswagen claims every ID, Buzz included, will be rear wheel drive. Neat. Almost as neat as this weird gnome Buddha. Cheeky pedals and a retractable steering wheel probably won't make it to the production version Volkswagen promises we'll see in 2022, but we hope the glass roof and reconfigurable seats will. And finally, the youngest of the ID triplets, the ID Cross because crossovers sell like hotcakes, especially here in the US. Sporting a front end somewhat reminiscent of the Model X, this one doesn't share the outlandish headlights of its siblings, but of course the badge still lights up. The wheels seem a lot closer to something you'd really see on a production model. They're still huge, but no blue or white tires wrap them, and they aren't just solid discs. Out back, we see more LED, more black glossy plastic, and that same cool shiny seat pillar treatment, albeit a bit more chromed. Again, short overhangs, sensors, cameras, touch sensitive door handles, more cameras. And like both of its siblings, a glass roof that helps us peek inside. Volkswagen says we'll see a production version of the ID Cross in 2020. For more information on all three of the ID concepts, check out motor1.com.